Hey everybody, welcome to our species spotlight on the Corridor Sturbi. Uh, this fish is predominantly found uh, throughout Brazil and Bolivia. Uh, it is found across a wide variety of different habitats within those countries, uh, from small streams to pools to flooded plains. Uh, the habitat you will typically see it in uh, contains stained water, uh, normally in more shaded areas over a sandy bottom. And, uh, and in those cases, you're going to see them typically in larger schools as they move about uh, searching the bottom for food. Uh, the wild imports of these fish are very few to none these days. Uh, the commonly available corridor stir by in stores are farm bred or produced by, uh, by various breeders. Now we'll get into a little bit about the behavior, size, color, and tank mates uh, when keeping corridor stir by. Now, corridor stir by, like other peaceful quarries, should be kept in a minimum group size of at least six specimens. Uh, they're best mixed with um, non-boisterous, other smaller, peaceful to mid-sized types of fish like South American um, door cichlids, tetras, uh, that kind of thing, small to medium rasboras. Uh, those are all good fish, smaller anabantids. Those are good fish to mix with corridors. Um, the typical size that a corridor sturbi will reach is about two inches or five centimeters. They may get a little bit bigger females, can they get a little bit larger than that at times. Uh, the coloration is really beautiful. It's got a nicely spotted pattern with undertones of gold and orange under the body as well as on the fins. Uh, the maximum, or sorry, the minimum aquarium size should be about a 25 a uh, U.S. gallon to 100 liter aquarium, something that's about 30 to 36 inches in length is best. That allows a small school to move back and forth uh, as they wish. Um, typical setup should be a sandy to fine gravel kind of bottom, preferably sand uh, is best. Uh, while you don't find plants in their natural environment, uh, they do very well in planted aquariums. Just provide them with some open area that they can move over the bottom within. And last but not least is the fact that these fish are really a very hardy and long-lived species. So they're great for both uh, beginners and advanced aquari aquarists alike. Now a little bit about the water conditions when it comes to corridor stir by. You want to maintain them in well oxygenated water, preferably something that has a, you know, a canister filter with good uh, water movement. The surface will provide them with that. Uh, slightly amber stained uh, water is best. Uh, while they do tolerate pH ranges of 6 all the way up to 7.5, we really prefer them to keep them in somewhat acidic water. So 6.4 to 7 is really the best and most preferred range for pH. DH range of about 2 to 12 degrees, uh, degrees of hardness, and a temperature range of about 75 to 82 degrees or 24 to 28 degrees Celsius. Um, yeah, typically regular water changes are very important, as is regular tank and filter maintenance to make sure conditions are kept clean. When it comes to feeding the corridor stir by, these are not, you know, challenging fish to feed. Sinking tablets, granules, uh, like bug bites exact, uh, for bottom feeders is a great food for them. Uh, and I think a treat that you want to maintain uh, or you want to give them on a regular basis is uh, cubes of freeze-dried black worms or tube effects worms. Pre-soak them a bit and then push them into the substrate and let the quarries dig them out. That's a great thing in a sandy bottom for them to do. It's a very natural way of feeding and they, they really seem to enjoy feeding that way. So every uh, maybe once or twice a week, I would definitely incorporate that uh, for them. Make sure to uh, incorporate some tablets, sinking tablets in your offer as well that uh, provide them with some vegetable matter within the formulation. And then as far as fruit, frozen foods are concerned, uh, some blood worms from time to time or frozen brine shrimp, uh, those things are, are fine to feed them as well. In closing, we'd like to say that the Corridorus sturbi ranks within our top five list of Corridorus cats uh, for planted aquariums for sure. Uh, they are very peaceful. They're beautifully marked fish. 
Uh, they're easily very compatible with a large range of other species. And I think the main piece of advice we could give you with these fish is to make sure that the group size you keep them in, like all quarries, you want to maintain really a minimum of six. Go to 10 or 12 if you can, if your tank size allows it. They do so much better when they're kept in good size groups. So that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And until the next time. Thank you.